Annyeong! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a very exciting video because I will be showing you my March planner and setup. As you can see, this is a K-pop theme, but not BTS themed. And this is actually a planner from Korea. Yay! All right, so without further ado, let's get started. <music> Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the planner first before I flip through it. So this is from A Bubble Crush. I actually filmed a setting up this planner video, a flip through as well as something else, but I forgot what it is that I filmed. I filmed three times and none of the footage I actually liked. So I decided to just film this video with everything in it. Okay, so how did I get this planner? This planner, once again, is from A Bubble Crush and you can only actually buy from them at Naver.com. Now, if you are unfamiliar with Naver.com, it is a South Korean shopping site. Shopping and basically everything else. It's like all in one go. And you can purchase from there if you have an account. In order to have an account, you need to be a South Korean citizen. And I am none of that. So I had my friend who is a South Korean to buy this for me off of that website. Just so happens that she was going home for Lunar New Year and she got it shipped to her house. It shipped very quickly and for very cheap as well. This was only 18,000 won altogether. So about 25 trillion dollars. And it only really was the planner. If I wanted extra stuff, it would have cost more and everything, but I decided to just get the planner because it is after all my first time. And I do have um, some friends in Korea who could always just grab stuff for me off of Naver. I already have my eye out for Luca Lab, which will probably be my next Korean planner purchase. Anyhow, so this is also a clear PVC, just like this one. So this is the 2020 planner um, off of the season's greetings of BDS, and this is the Kiki K one. Material wise, this is the thickest and this feels the most um, high quality. Second would be this one in terms of thickness. And then last is the Kiki K. The Kiki K PVC I don't feel is as thick as these two. Now, as of if we take a look at the binding, no, not binding, the rings, it looks very similar. Like legit, very, very similar. From top to bottom, it looks just the same. The only difference would be is that if you take a look at the 2020 season's greetings versus this one from A Bubble Crush, it is actually, well, this looks better than this one. But for the snap closure, it's not, no, not snap closure, but for the rings, it behaves the same. I don't see any, any difference or much difference between them. Snap closures are also quite similar. The 2020 Season's Greetings doesn't have stitching anywhere on it. And the Reflex, because it is also glitter, so both of them, both of these are glitter. The glitter for here is smaller than this one. So if you have this, you will definitely know that and you can tell. So the snaps feel generally the same, except that this is smaller than this one, a little bit bigger side by side, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit bigger. Especially when you open it, um, the other snap, this is bigger than this one. This is also the material, the PVC for this is also bendier than this one, which is, you know, it's okay. I'm not saying that it, this isn't good. This is actually really good. I was so happy when I got this. Now for this one, this is the A6 size. There's an A5 size, but I I think it was sold out by the time I was like buying this and I wanted the A6 anyways. So the A6 is the personal size. Now it has trim that's nylon, very similar to the one from Kiki K, except that this one is a uh, zip. I got the red one. It was the only one available, I believe. I don't remember choosing colors, but I wanted the red one anyways. So I wanted it to pop. And then here in the front, it says the glare of the sun on the sea. My day may not always be warm and shiny, but in the end, ordinary days will, will what? Will come together and shine. It's not a very bad English, which I was very happy about. I knew what this, uh, what else it would say before I purchased it. Now at the back, 
it's clear so I have someone at the back I'll show you that in a bit and then the other the only other lettering is here at the bottom it says a bubble crush it hasn't like rubbed off for now but I've only had this a month and in that month it hadn't left its plastic packaging I've already thrown away the plastic packaging so because I thought I'd film the video but looking at the footage it's just eh. Okay, let's start with this. This is a pocket. This is a feature that's not in here. Because you're probably wondering why am I buying this? I already have the 2020 season's greeting because you know, I'm extra. And then I just cut this photo. So this is a photo that I printed here and I just stuck it on here. I measured it and it worked out great. And then you open it and here we go. So before I go through what's in my March setup, I just wanted to compare rings. Just pull it out so the rings are the same for the 2020 BDS but it is a lot smaller than the Kiki K version see so you can't put everything in it that's why a lot of stuff is still in here and when I move back into this planner maybe I'll um, use what's in here like the dividers and things I didn't use any divider that's why I have stickies here so as you may have guessed this planner is Eyes One themed and Eyes One is my favorite girl group. So I have two favorite bands that is BTS and Eyes One. And this planner is all about Eyes One. For two months, I've been on a BTS only planning uh, planner or planner decoration. But today, well, starting tomorrow, it's going to be this. But I showed this in my vlog. I've already started using this actually. So I just printed a few photos off of their releases. So they had teasers and I printed them. I chose one theme, one concept theme, and I printed that. And I picked this one. This is going to show up in the I Will version of the Blue Miss album. I ordered mine already. It is now in Australia. It's probably at customs and I'll probably get it next week. And I or I won't say which one I got, but this planner is an I will version. So I just made this. And then when you open, you get the group photo. And what I did is that I printed this and just stuck them together so they feel thicker. If you have better paper than me, then you will probably not have to do this. I am very sorry about this. I believe this is Yunbi. I'm sorry, I love you. Okay. And then I have another group photo here and then we start with my notes pages. And so this photo and this photo go, go together. Originally, I was just going to mimic the 2020 style, uh, the 2020 season's greeting style, but I changed my mind and because this planner is so thin, so I just stuck them together and used these photos as dividers. So this one, so this is a unit photo of Won Young, Sakura, Hyewon, Nako, and Hitomi. Hitomi is so pretty with her hair. Sakura is so wonderful with her bangs. Oh, I'm loving everyone actually. And then I have another unit group photo. So this is Yuri, Chewon, Yena, my bias, and Eugene unit photo with Minju, Cheyang, and Yunbi. So if I'm butchering any of the names here or all of the names here, I am very sorry. I'm just learning Korean. So here we're going to start with our monthlies and this is the photos of Tommy and Eugene and you have seen this. This is the month of March. I'm gonna have to actually switch this to here now. Yay! Oh, yay! I only use sticky notes for tabs so that I can move them and this is March and you've seen this in my other setup. I just migrated this and then this is the other half of that photo that I made. So I made all of this and if I make it available for your use for free, of course, because I, I'm not sure if I can charge. You just go ahead and uh, I'll just go ahead and link it down below if I could do, the, if I've done it already. I'm still trying to fix the format of how I want it to be. So this is what it looks like. If not, then the April one will be definitely, definitely be a free printable at paperjoyph.com. So this is one side, left side and right side. It's actually really nice. 
And then we go into my weeklies and this is Minju. So pretty. She's so talented. Like I can't even. Minju and Yunbi. So I have blanks here and I'm going to film a separate video for how I set that up. And then behind that, behind Yunbi is Chaebon. This is her era and it's so exciting. She's so good. And that's the full of that photo. I loved it. Just just this little little clip of that. It's so pretty. She's so pretty. <laughs> She's like visuals. All the girls. Visuals, visuals, visuals. Have you seen Fiesta? Ah, uh, oh my god. Fiesta is so amazing. It's so artsy. It's so nice to look at. There's so many little, little things. Every time you watch it, there's something new. There's something that you've never seen before. So I highly recommend you guys watching Fiesta. It's the prettiest thing we have seen that they have made and most girl band. I'm sorry for all the other um, stands of other K-pop groups, girl or boy bands or groups, but Fiesta's MV, so good. In a, in a film as well as an art sort of way, every frame was just well thought out. I can't even begin to describe how wonderful that video is. You have to watch it. It's just so amazing. So these are my weeklies from the um, KKK Cute. And these are dated, so I just migrate. I will migrate this forever, as well as the monthly. Chewon, Sakura, and Yewon. I should have moved her here. I'm still learning. Is that together? So nice. Ah, uh, this is also Yuri's era. Like, she grew up in this video, at least in Fiesta. Like, she really grew up. Like, Fiesta is the end of the flower series, which started with La Vian Rose and Violetta. Violetta, I absolutely fell in love with. That's why they are my favorite girl group. And then for Fiesta, it's like the flower had already bloomed. So you plant it in La Vian Rose, and then you're watching it grow in Violetta, and then you are fully blue in bloom by Fiesta. And I feel like Yuri's image from the very beginning up to Fiesta really embodies that concept. So well done. She's so good. Ah, and my ultimate bias for girls is Yena. So this is Yena's full photo together. This girl can do anything. If she goes solo, oh my god. Oh my god. She's like the next Yuna. Please don't be angry. She has so much charisma. I'm gonna say, yeah, so much charisma. I mean, all the girls are talented. There are plenty of girls more talented than Yena, but Yena has an X factor. Like everything, everything she does on stage, it's just you cannot wait for her to be, to have her little part in their, um, in their stage because it's so good. She's so good. Like she's very eye-catching, and I can't wait to see more of her as she grows up because she's still pretty young now. So I'm hoping that, you know, in the future, her career will be handled very well because she has so much potential. And these are two girls. These are like two of the photos that I have the girls standing up or the girls who are standing up. And this is Hitomi. Hitomi's so pretty. And of course, our super talented Cheyoung. And at the very last is our center, Won Young. And then here I have a little folder which has my sticky notes, more sticky notes, some stickers, cat stickers, and then this um, seal stickers of penguins, panda, and desserts. My favorite thing. Well, not really penguins. I love penguins, but... And then here I have just stickers. I think this is the same setup as the last time, so... Then I have this, and this can be a page lifter but I made my own as well. I wasn't originally intending this to be a part of this planner, but I might need the folders, so I just stuck this on here. I might even take this off at some point. And this is Yena's photo, it's the same one. And Yena is my page lifter. So if you close it, you have Yena. See, I didn't, that's why I was like thinking of taking this off. Actually, let me do that now, maybe it's better. Now that I'm looking at it after I set it up, I was already iffy about it from the start but now it's like super iffy ah oh, it's better and it's less thick so i can put more stuff in it all right so that is my new march setup and the good thing about this planner is i can close it i can take my favorite pen this is the pen that i use all the time and i can just tuck this pen 
in front. I am afraid of doing this for the 2020 season's greetings because this doesn't have a trim and I don't want to ruin it more than I already have. I'm pretty sure th that this planner looks more banged up than a lot of the planners out there. That I mean the same planners out there. So this is what we have. So that is our March setup. And so the few things that I did do here that you can also do is that I just took a bunch of photos that had been released for Ice One's Blue Mist and I made like a magazine type bread in my computer using only the Microsoft Publisher. So that's where I started and I just put in the exact measurements of a personal planner insert which is 95 mm by 171 mm. So if you're using CM, you just move one, that's two decimal points. Really? You, no, no, one decimal point. All right, so you can also do it with another program, whatever program that you have, and you can customize it as much as you want. And that is what I did. Print it out, cut it, glue it together, so that it's back to back. You can also print back to back, but I recommend a nicer paper than just normal copy paper that I am using, because I don't have specialty papers right now. I really, really miss my workshop. And I just wanted to demonstrate, for example, I have this photo card. This is uh, official photo card. My very first one, no, my very first one is Tay. This is the second one. And if you put it in here, it'll fit. So Lomo cards will fit perfect. So if you have a lot of that, then you can choose one and just put it in here. You can even just have it standing. It doesn't matter. Well, it does a little bit. It looks odd. <laughs> Maybe a bigger card would do. Let's, for example, this one, which has been in my other planner forever. Something like that. This will work if I picked the um, blooming concept, but I didn't. I picked this concept, the sun, I don't know. I'm just calling it sunrise or rather sunset concept, but that's not the name of it. Okay. So this is my first Korean planner. And in order to celebrate, me getting it, I actually composed a little something that is checked by that was checked by my Hangul teacher. And if she's watching this, Anyong. So I'm going to review this, give you my final thoughts on this planner. Once again, I've been using it since Monday and I will be using it for the rest of March. I am not sure about April if I'm gonna switch out. Let's we will see. Alright, so I'm gonna review this, or rather, give you my final thought on this planner in Hangul. I diary joa heo, i go sun dan dan hada, nanun i segul joa heo, i go sun yepoyo, kerigu i go sun pion li heo. Because it's small and compact and not very thick. Majimakuro i go sun sayo, chego, chego. All right, that's the best that I can do for now. I am still learning Hangul, so maybe in like a year, I can have enough confidence to speak Hangul in one video. It'll be a very, very short video. It'll be like really broken Hangul, but I can't wait for that time to happen. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Chego! And if you would like some more planning videos, please subscribe to my channel. Kudo! And you can also follow us on our social media. It is PaperJoyPH for both Instagram and Facebook. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Annyeong! Kamsamnida!